Hi guys, I'm Tara Ferguson and you're watching Tara Talking Tech. Today on Tara Talking Tech, we are in the gorgeous resort community of Whistler Blackcomb for the annual Grow Conference. This year's conference is all about the internet of things and making Whistler the most connected resort in the world. With over 1,200 tech enthusiasts from entrepreneurs to investors, this year's Grow Conference may just be the best one yet. So why do you love Grow so much? Well, it's always fun to get together and talk about tech and uh, geeky stuff. I mean, there's like drones here and there's like virtual reality devices mm -hmm. here. There's all sorts of wearable. Like, so next generation, future technology, you want to get your hands on it. Most of the stuff's not on the market, right? So you get to flex your geeky muscle and have fun, mm -hmm. learn some mm -hmm. stuff. By far, one of the coolest additions to this year's conference was the Wavefront Hackathon, which consisted of 24 teams working for 33 hours, trying to solve some of the resort's biggest challenges. In terms of driving outcomes and truly making Whistler a connected uh, resort, I think, I think we might have achieved that. We were really thrilled that we got the participation from the Whistler stakeholders that we did. They really got engaged with this event. Um, the panel session they did to kick it off was really informative. They had a great energy and, and passion behind that, what they want to see for, the, for Whistler. And I think our participants here really read off of that and came up with some amazing ideas. The top prize of $10,000 went to the duo at Daftact, Phil Jamma and Jeff Laporte, who gamified Recon Instruments heads up display technology with their app, Jump Squad. Okay, so tell us a little bit, what was Daftac? What problem were you guys solving? Um, I mean, the motivation is to uh, make Whistler the most connected uh, resort in the world. Um, and we wanted to do so by making an innovative solution to, to drive people, to, to raise uh, you know, interest in the, in the place with something that's never been done before. Um, and this is the sort of thing that we brainstormed and, and came up with. So. So you guys were using the recon technology. I'm going to go over here. You guys were using the recon technology, and which was really cool. What I thought was really cool is you kind of added that gamification factor into it. So you made it fun right. to like compete with your friends in a like healthy environment. Yeah, and <laughs> we kind of also thought, you know, you look at the the world of console gaming and stuff, and it started out single player and it went multiplayer, mm -hmm. and we think that could happen with wearables too, right? It's cool the the wearable technology that's on the market right mm -hmm. now, but it hasn't really been made multiplayer yet, and we think that's a that's a big idea that's going to happen. And for those of you interested in hacking it out for your own cash prize, veteran hackathoner Ian McKinnon shared some of his top tips. Okay, now do you actually have an idea before you come or do you just like come in the room and you're like, okay, this is what we're gonna do? You're at a good advantage if you have an idea before you come. My general rule is to not learn anything at a hackathon. My general, like any of the SDKs or toolkits, learn them ahead of time. No one's gonna think you're cheating by doing that. Make sure all your code that you're writing starts at the beginning. However, have it all lined up, ready to go. So when they say go, you're starting coding, you're not learning or debating what you're going to get because it's all on the website. Long, but the theme for the hackathon is one of the first things they determine. So, so like, have a plan. Have a plan. That is a wrap on Grow 2014, and I would have to say Whistler, not a bad place to host an event, as you can tell behind me. Pretty epic. And to find out more about next year's Grow Conference check it out on their website. For Tara Talking Tech, I'm Tara Ferguson.